This update brought to you by American Implement, dedicated to the past, committed to the future. We'll have ag news in a moment. The cost of everything has gone up dramatically over the last 75 years. With one exception, keeping electricity affordable. Wheatland Electric, delivering energy for life, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. Day and night, till the job is done, Teeter is the one that works for you. Fields of green, reaching toward the sun. Teeter is the one that works for you. Teeter is the one. Teeter is the one that works for you. Teeter Irrigation, your source for water management. The monthly World Agriculture Supply and Demand Report offered little to excite or scare the markets after it was released. The market and trade expert had expected that to take place and little change in the monthly figures by USDA with no change to corn and soybean production expectations or yields. Trade experts say it's a likely significant update. We'll wait now until the January WASDE report. The projected season average farm price for corn unchanged $3.85 a bushel. Meanwhile, total U.S. oilseed production for 2019-20 forecast 107.6 million tons, down slightly due to a decrease for cottonseed. Soybean supply use projections are unchanged from last month, and the U.S. season average soybean price for 2019-2020 is forecast $8.85 a bushel, down 15 cents. The outlook for the 2019-20 U.S. wheat is for decreased supplies, higher exports, and lower ending stocks. Wheat exports are lowered 15 million bushels to 105 million on a slower than expected pace so far. And the season average farm price for wheat lowered nickel per bushel to $4.55. And Kansas corn and beef producers invited to attend the Corn Fed Beef Seminar January 6th take place at High Plains Feed Yard Education and Research Center in Montezuma. The Kansas Corn Commission as well as the Kansas Beef Council teaming up to present the seminar designed to bring corn and beef producers together to learn more about the issues that affect both industries. Seminar will get underway at 2.30 in the afternoon, followed by the agronomic-focused Kansas Corn School. that will be from 9 to 2. Producers invited to attend one or both events. You can register for that corn fed beef seminar. It's free, but they want you to register to make sure there's enough food. KansasCorn.com slash cornfedbeef. And agriculture producers have faced significant challenges in recent years, including market uncertainties, natural disasters, ongoing trade wars, and other setbacks. Well, these stressful situations have led to a heightened focus on mental health issues in the uh, Sunflower State and the agriculture community. In response, the Kansas Department of Agriculture, along with several Kansas Ag partners, unveiling a new website to provide resources and support to those that are dealing with ag-related stress. The website can be found at kansasagstress.org. This new website addresses the challenges that Kansas farmers and ranchers and their families are facing in today's ag industry. Things like those natural disasters recently and depressed commodity prices, other issues are weighing heavily on farm families and it can take a toll that leads to mental and emotional distress, possible substance abuse, anxiety, depression, even suicide. Well, visitors to the website will be able to find local and national resources for those issues as well as support in areas ranging from stress management to financial and legal challenges. That is an Ag Business Update. Join us for Ag News and Markets weekdays 
on 1030 KBUF. Like us on Facebook, KBUF 1030. Follow us on Twitter, KBUF. Thanks for watching. I'm Ken Rogers. SNS Trailer Sales with two locations in Ness City, Kansas, is where everybody goes to buy or rent trailers. They feature the all new, all aluminum Mauer grain trailer with all of the electric options, the easy to load detached trailers, and a huge stock of header trailers. At the west location, you'll find bumper poles, goosenecks, and oil field specialty trailers, along with flat and utility beds for pickups. SNS Trailer Sales in Ness City and on the web, but remember, you do have to spell out the end. When you've had a best friend for over 50 years, you develop a trust. And the Scott Co-op has been a trusted rural friend since 1957. A co-op keeps money in the area, doing business for and with their members. And that helps keep their hometown thriving with keeping money in the community. Scott Co-op is not just an elevator. It's the rural way of doing business. So when you see an elevator, remember your friends at Scott Co-op. Would you like to see something done about high gas prices and low unemployment? Western Place Energy in Campus, Kansas is doing something about it. They're a proud part of Growth Energy, America's ethanol supporters, and they employ 38 people and will be adding more following the expansion. Ethanol fuel not only reduces the cost of regular gasoline, it's good for the environment and keeps money right here in the United States while supporting local rural jobs. Western Plains Energy, doing something for the future.